Hi, I am Mirko, DTF, DTG. Direct printing process, indirect printing process. Do you really know the difference? Let me explain. Most importantly, both are digital printing processes, which means that both are not analog printing forms. I use DTG, or direct to garment, when I want to print the chest or the back with large, photorealistic motives. I would use DTF whenever I want to print on special places on my textile or if I want to print very sharp edged. For me, special places are for instance kangaroo pockets like I have done here, or a hood, very close to the hem stitching or simply on a sleeve. In the direct printing process, it's not always that easy. But DTF lets me achieve this very quickly and easily. I don't decide whether I use DTF or DTG solely based on the position of the print or the motive, but also based on the material. And if it's fine or rough. These are all factors that can influence the choice of the printing process. Whenever I'm not quite sure whether I can get the press closed or whether the print image will work on the material, I personally always use DTF printing. On rough and heavy materials, it can often be difficult to apply the pretreatment correctly to get the ink to lie nicely. Then I'll use DTF. It is much easier and I'm gluing directly onto the textile. This way I can simply eliminate these risks. In DTG printing or direct-to-garment printing the pretreatment is actually the most important step in the whole production. You have to make sure that every area is pretreated properly. The big advantage of the Russell sweatshirt is that I don't have to be afraid of the polyester part. In the textile shows through the color so that white would become gray on a black sweatshirt. The 100% cotton surface keeps the risk close to zero. Of course, there are also customers for whom the touch or the hand feel is very, very important. You should take that into account in your decision. DTF can look very foil-like. DTG printing on the other hand is much more connected to the textile. Obviously, it's not that bad on a Russell sweatshirt or on a rough and heavier material in general. On lighter materials like t-shirts however, it can look foil-like and stiffer. No matter which printing process you choose in the end, DTG or DTF, with Russell Authentic Sweats, you will achieve good printing results in the end. All information about the textiles that we used, as well as the printer from Rico, can be found in the description.